Art is in. Yuli and Art play easily enough too, so very well done. Uh, and then King Carlos vs. K Mooney round out our last match. Living Legend looks like they're still waiting on their opponent. So up next, we're going to get into the Jason Kiddo versus Remora set. I think usually my rule of thumb, or thumb, excuse me, Sai, in these tournaments, if Remora is in it, I pretty much like Remora against anybody. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's hard to ever, like, vote against the Evo Champions. So, like, I totally get it. Um, right now, getting tagged by Magneto, but going to break the uh, TAC right there. Really important stuff. Like, Zero is such a strong character on point. Obviously, you know, still best in the game. But he is squishy, so if you get those first hits, you have to kind of spend everything. But he survives two different combos, and now uh, Jason Kiddo has to fight his Dr. Doom. But if he is able to kill Doom or even just snap Zero in, this could be a huge, uh, huge bonus for him. Oh, wow. Yeah, bonus for us. Thank you, Robbie Duran. What's up? We appreciate you. And yeah, the moment's gonna get this party started. A kill on Dr. Dream is gonna lead to an incoming on zero. If we get that, then we just are one meaty setup away from Virgil from potentially putting this away. is gonna need to find some activity here. Not able to with the zero. It all comes down to this. Yeah, I really like that. Forced him to cross up Yo. with the main assist right there. And using Hagger of all people to snuff out level three X-Factor Virgil. Gonna keep Son. it real simple, go for this combo. And Jason Kiddo takes that game pretty confidently, almost a perfect. Son, I, okay, so I have to preface, okay. Now I said I would take Remora over just about everybody, but that is not to sleep on Jason. Obviously Jason is one of our season champions. This is someone who's, who's proven that they can beat zero players. They can beat Morgan players. And that was a really impressive win. But I have to believe that Remora is going to bounce back here, and we're definitely going to see a competitive state. Yeah, especially since it took three different interactions to kill Zero. Like, that means Jason was really, really playing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. You normally only get the one chance against him. And this is part of the, the, you know, dynamic nature of the team. They can choose to swap Magneto and Hacker out as their point. And, uh, you know, playing Magneto with the Lariat assist is, is very... Yeah, very potent, both on incoming, on defense, pretty much anywhere Magneto can make use of that assist. Thank you, KJ Master for the Risa. We love you, KJ. 26 month streak. That's crazy. Oh, God. That's crazy. That's insane. All right, what's the mix? Yo, he did not know where he was mm. going with that. Yo, we're more fighting? Wow. I'm impressed. Great sequence from Remora, staying alive, keeping that Dr. Doom on the screen. Very important to keep every character you can against Jason. Are we going to X? Remora is usually really good on those. Yeah, that's a tough confirm. You don't have a lot of time for that. But he's able to find it. And Remora really needed that hit because Jason had only really been hit by like a couple like small straight projectiles. And Doom was kind of halfway out of there. But How'd he get out of there? He, <laughs> he really flew up out of there. He was not eating that mix up. I like it. Kind of just stalling in the air, just waiting out some of that Virgil X Factor. Really smart stuff. Price interrupting with the shockwave, but he gets crossed up, and uh, the missile is going to save him. He doesn't have any meter, though, so he has to kind of like do this mix up earnestly. But the hard tag from Jason Kidd, kind of an interesting decision there. Um, he's still able to be safe. Going to tag Doom, has to X, and he gets a throw. Everything coming up, Jason Kidd right now. The combo breaker assist, man. This is what hidden missiles does. This is why many people, including myself, believe it is the best assist in the game. It is a combo extender. Look, it's bailing him out again. Drop combo, able to extend it a little bit further. Not able to kill Dr. Doom, but the pressure does extend. Wow, he just goes right after him. Going to have to immediately go into the stalking player. Tags oh, yeah. back in Magneto. I think that's the right decision, but look at Remora. Ooh. What? This is so scrambly. Both these players. Are some just, players. Yeah, this, these are the Marvel players right here. Really just kind of throwing out these haymakers. Nobody getting a clean confirm yet. Everyone just kind of tagging this. Oh, and as I say it, and he, he quits out. He knows. Recognizes the happy birthday. He knows it's going to be over. And that's going to be two games for Jason Kidd against Evo freaking champion Remora. Ah, that's a Remora classic. Just goes ahead and quits right back to the character select screen and down to zero. I again, I cannot say this is an upset by any means because Jason is that strong of a player. We know that they're capable of beating the best of the best, but I have to believe a three zero from Jason over Remora would have him feeling amazing going on into the winner bracket of this tournament. I believe that there is still more to give here though from Remora. I don't think that we're going to see a 3-0 result. It'll be up to them to show it to us though. 
Yeah, well, I guess we're going to find out. But yeah, he's up too. And he gets the air throw. Great tech. But he catches Doom. Almost gets a happy birthday. I was wondering if he's going to shockwave that. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, Remora has got to find some kind of zero confirm because the big crux of this team is that like this character is so scary on point, especially with those assists. Yo, the hyper grab from across the stage? I like it from Jason Kidd, but Remora finding his way down with that pizza cutter. Going to finally get his first confirm his entire set as zero. It's going to be kind of scaled, but he has enough meter. I'm pretty sure if he gets two reps of these loops to be able to take out this main character, uh, Jason's main uh, point character. Oh, doesn't even need two, just one. Okay, excuse me. That was super optimal. Actually gets the combo. Nice confirm all the way top to bottom on the Dormammu. And with the Virgil assist active, we're able to get into the loop. I think we spend both bars here. We kill this character. Absolutely leave Hagger defenseless on their own. Yeah, yes. definitely, definitely. And one of the things that makes that Virgil assist so good, even in like weird confirms right there, like Pizza Cutter at the top left of the screen, Virgil Assist pushes you so far into the corner that he still sets up for Zero to be able to get those loops. He doesn't have to like try to hope and pray that he can make it over there. But Jason Kidd fighting back with the Hagger, gonna kill Zero. What is the mix on Doom? Too early, Remora comes out on the other side. And of course gonna pop that X-Factor because he knows a huge X-Factor punish is gonna come from Jason Kidd. Here we go. Ooh. It's just happening. Is this is this really gonna happen? I mean, they're the one of the best in the business at making these Hagger oh, comebacks no. possible. We see it happen a lot, but now the effect has been done. Wait, that was not a very efficient combo. What you want? <gasps> and Virgil. Oh, okay. gets a combo. This is the effect that you want. You want to get the start on Hagger and never stop. If you just are able to get into a positive situation, you could actually run this so easily. But Remora smart to do the correct combo. He had the hard part, but he keeps dropping the easy part. You gotta be so careful. Oh, he could have gone for the anti-air throw that right there. So that was so risky. God, yeah. Lariat, all Remora, kinds of options were blowing that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Remora uh, really was just pixels away from losing that. Especially when he like hit both characters with the uh, Hagger Bomb. I was like, oh, this could be a lot right here. It's kind of a weird scrambling situation to get into. But he was able to make it back. I mean, honestly, a Hagger comeback against... Zero Doom Virgil is unheard of. That is a that's a that's hard, hard. That's, hard. that's a hard one, man. But uh, he was almost there. He really was just like, I think if he had really just kind of yoloed it right there with that uh, <laughs> jump height round trip, I think he could have had it. And I mean, like the the falling jump S too. That is such a risky option from the Virgil player, but it pays off. So good job to Remora. Taking a little bit of a risk, but it's you know it's what you need to do to get on the board. And as a zero player, honestly, okay, that's not how it starts. I was gonna say if you could get some hits that just turn this into a two-two, like like an instant. But you know, losing your zero, that's pretty painful. This is not gonna be easy. And uh, his next character has to come in against a softer player too, so it's gonna be a weird mix-up, especially with Beam and Larry. Oh, he's gonna tag Hagger in, and there it is once again. If you push block that stalking player, Hagger just gets so much free reign. I really don't know what the answer is, other than like maybe just there is damage none. happened. I don't know. Hold that shit, bro. That is, trust me, I've been watching week after week after week. I've commentated player after player after players had to deal with this shit. But you just have to take it. And the optimization station is live. So we're going to get the kill. The stalking player is back. The flame carpet will go down. Virgil's going to have to hold this. What does Remora have? Oh, he was like, oh, but he still finds it. And Jason Kidd is about to, he is about to do this. Just needs to keep this combo very simple. He's able to do it. Gonna uh, even uh, team super just in case. Able to take it over Remora 3-1. And that is who is going to be moving into our winner's side top eight. A huge upset. I know Jason's really good, but what an upset, especially a 3-1 when most of these games have been going to game five. Um, and honestly, he barely lost the last game. You saw it in chat. Just Everyone run it in minutes. So I truly don't know what to expect anymore. These two can knock each other's teeth out one way or the other. Uh, I do think, though, and I've talked about this about my own on my own stream before and some breakdowns. I do think overall the Magneto assist in this matchup gives Mundink a slight edge. He can play a little bit faster because the Magneto can kind of counter call the Doctor Doom. But I think overall the team synergy for the you know the classic with Coach Steve right this Nova Spencer Doom is yep. higher. Up the wall mounts. 80k. Yep, that's gonna do it. 
All right, so LT in a really strong spot. Crazy mix coming in. Yeah, that beam assist. It's so ambiguous. Does not find the heavy grapple, though. So uh, Monk Dang is able to make it down to the ground. He does still have Magneto assist, so he is still able to get a lot of pressure. But got a little greedy right there, and this could be a ton of damage uh, if LT does not drop this. He's got a lot of potential here. Yes, and right. you better believe they know they know that they got to get rid of Spencer. So you're gonna get the OTG again. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh another 80. Uh, just melts right off the life bar. Thank you, SinRD, for the resub. We appreciate you, longtime subscriber of the channel. Bring the Nova back in. That's gonna be meaty. He actually jumps out of it briefly and activates X Factor. So Mundink with the chance. Mundink is the best in the business at these X Factor comebacks. I'm so shocked that he missed that twice. As I was saying it, what are we doing to these players tonight, my friend? I am so sorry. Yeah, I was just like, hey man, he just missed like, uh, he missed that follow twice. He had a lot of opportunities there. That's unfortunate for Mundank. So uh, yeah, he's got all his resources. Oh, this is fine. And he still got X-Factor, rest your foot down just in case. Yeah, LT taking that pretty clean. Uh, it's been a looming threat all night, which uh, Nova Spencer team we were gonna see, but it's really funny if the first one we see is like both of them just kind of mirroring each other. Ooh, great from LT. Whoa. That was super scary. I think really tried to go up and get that conversion, but not there. So LT able to escape. Now fighting with his back to the corner. That could have been a conversion if he got the air dash out. Not able to, so the Novas are fighting again. I love, I love that they're both literally just mm -hmm. like square dashing around each other and calling beam. Just mm -hmm. praying to see who's going to get it. They're trying to, I mean... They're, oh, that was so nice from Mundank with a great punish. But LT is one of the best, if not the best, Novas at making use of the light and medium gravimetric pulses, burning that red light to make options. So well done from Mundank to look out for that and scout it. But now LT with the hit actually gets the TAC. If this, if this infinite goes through? No. Okay. No, just spin it. But that was really smart because like he already scaled in a lot starting that off with that throw. So going for the TAC was really smart because if he would have been able to kill him, and that's a huge if, it would have been like this insane execution test. Uh, but good stuff to LT. All right, another mix up coming in. All right, stays, I think, on the same side right there. Monday's got a chance and he's going to confirm off the grapple, or excuse me, off the zip right there. Going to pull him down. Yep, plenty of damage here. Save the wall bounce. He's also still got a Magneto in the tuck there and a ton of meter. So I'm pretty sure he's going to make sure that Spencer gets out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, I think Spencer is like, I mean, Nova, all these all these characters do a great job of pulling these teams Ooh. together, whether it's the, the Strange variant, the Spencer, or the uh, Doom variant, or the or the uh, Magneto variant. But I think Spencer really represents the highest heavy hitting potential of the team. So they're always very, very respectful of those threats. And Magneto kinda awkward situation here where you do have the good matchup versus Dr. Doom. So you're able to burn out all of the LT's X Factor, but not necessarily an ideal order. I think you'd probably have some more potential here with Spencer Magneto, but he's gonna fight it out for now because he knows that he can't just do something as simple as a hard tag. Honestly, even if he was running Spencer Magneto, if LT is going to stay in the air like that, it still would have been tough for him to actually, like, get to confirm. Like, Beam wouldn't really be a problem if he stays up there. Oh, and an amazing mm. throw tech from LT. That was mm. extremely mandatory. Yo. He's going to be able to get the air to the air, bringing him all the way back down to the ground. Top and I think confirm? he's going to build a lot of meter off this, too. Oh, no, the drop. That's no greedy. Yeah, going for that extra rep there. I don't think that, that was it. You should have just cashed out. Got that little three. Let's move on to the next character. But lucky that actually Monday drops another throw combo. That is so fortunate. We really rarely see those. That actually hit. Hello? Big confirm? opportunity. Yeah. I think he could have confirmed about that. I think he just got like for a sure. uh, and medium. Nah. Uh, yeah, time is not on LT side, though. So even if he hit this combo, which he unfortunately dropped, this is going to be the game right here. Yeah, no time to do anything. And just in case, not to time out, gonna kill him with the, the disruptor anyway. Uh, so we have ourselves a 1-1 game, but that was really close. I think if he had just, he just, he really did get a little greedy on that combo. Oh uh, man. Oh, and this is what I'm talking about. That dimension that the Magneto assist can bring to this matchup because it is faster and you can get more, you know, counter call potential. Getting that punish, two characters down just like that. Huge lead for Mundank, but like I was saying, the Spencer potential is very real. You know Mundank knows about it, and he's leading all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. What I like about that, too, is like he got the happy birthday, 
he was so confident in his combos, he didn't even have to worry about like popping X and like trying to make something happen. He didn't have to worry about spinning the extra meter. Like it was like a fully optimized punish. And honestly, Marvel's a crazy game. That was like 10 seconds. Now we have ourselves a 2-2 here. Ooh, great instant overhead from LT though. Classic Nova mix-ups right there. Really hard to react to it. All right, we got the tag in. There's gonna be a ton of damage from Doom, which is like, you know, the big crux of this team is that there's just so much synergy between Nova, Spencer, and really whoever the third is, but especially Doom. Oh, wow. He's actually gonna end the super early just to make sure that Spencer's here for the incoming. That's really smart from LT. Mm -hmm. I agree. Make it, he's gonna leave Spencer in for the incoming as well. Ooh. Sometimes we see them go to the Nova. I think that's sort of the traditional option, but yeah. Use the X-Factor because we had a little bit of an awkward confirm. I think that makes a lot of sense. You're going to build the second meter here. No, you, that doesn't oh, work. Oh, no, he whipped that it. That doesn't work. Ah. Doom is what? getting tagged with that right now. I thought that should have worked on Spencer. I thought that worked Spencer to Spencer, but man, that is so unfortunate. And now Monday is worse. Really back in this, if he gets a single hit, this is so bad for LT because Dr. Doom is basically dead. So we're talking about two two characters for one if Monday's able to get anything started, but it actually doesn't look like him. LT's been able to weather the storm. Yeah, I, he was backdashing for his life right now. With the X-Factor that Monday had, if he was able to get that hit and then, of course, bring Doom in with all that red life, he could have been in a great spot, but now he's really got a struggle here. Uh, LT just throwing out these anti-air jabs, which is really smart, especially with beam assist behind him. He can confirm it to a lot. Monday finally finds a hit, though. He does have a lot of meter. I don't think he'll have to cash out and cut all three, but he drops the combo anyway, and now his assist is getting wrecked by the Bionic Arm, and, of course, uh, oh my god, everything. He just said hit him with the kitchen sink. Good lord, yeah, and that's gonna spell disaster for Mundank and trying to block that instant overhead with the beam behind him. It was just no way to really get that done, so uh, really good stuff. Two to two. Oh, no. Nope. LT was fighting from a one game deficit. I, trust me, this is the Nova Spencer effect. It's like a blunt object to the skull. Like, seriously, you cannot <laughs> it's this matchup. And well, Mundank is trying to make it. A, uh, a character lead here. This is this has been vital for the success of these players so far, getting ahead and, and making that momentum count. Yep, got the ball bounce. Yep. All right, pretty clean stuff. Uh, Mundank had a good spot. And speaking of those crazy uh, beam incoming mm -hmm. mix-ups, you see Mundank finally get one of his own uh, that was way more focused on LT side. This is so much damage. Now he's gonna risk tagging in Doom. Now he's gonna waste Stop time on no. the X Factor. Wait, oh, he no. lived? Oh no! Wait a minute. That's asking for a lot to confirm that, so I understand not going into X Factor there, but we gotta gotta waste a lot of time for our Spencer life to get back. It's yeah. gonna be tough. I was just thinking, like, man, that was really, uh, I like the optimal game plans for Monday. He's really good about, like, conserving his uh, meter. But, uh, that might not have been a time, because Spencer's looking, uh, he's starting to get a little bit healthy. Of course, he has X Factor. This could be really tough. Um, Monday is gonna have to continue to, like, really, really play safe. Meanwhile, LT is just stalling, throwing out those finger lasers, making sure the Spencer can get as much of that red life as back as possible, and uh, running down a lot of the clock, too. Yep, gonna throw those jabs, throw those beams, try to find something. Wait a minute. X-Factor. That's what he wanted. That is exactly what he wanted. Monday thought he had the chance to get and thread the needle there and get something started on Dr. Doom, but wow, wait a minute. First Ooh, it was no it? combo. Then he just gets it back. Mm. I, I, actually, I, I'm gonna go down a limb here. I think the last few times I've seen them play Monday has won this. So I, I'm gonna say that I think if LT Ooh. wins this match, it will have broke a little bit of a streak. This is so much damage. Too. Yeah, this is looking good. Barring drops. Yep. LT, can you put it away? Oh my BDK. goodness, he's going to do and it. And he built enough meter. LT is going to take it over Mundank. And this is wow. the thing that haunts me about this game to wow. this day. And I just had a full-on PTSD reminder. If you leave that character with the pixel of health, that character has full health. We're going to see, we're going to see Sandals versus Sandals. It's going to happen. And sandals every versus single, Sandals. Every single time it happens, it's crazy. I'm telling you, you... You have been on for so we had all those crazy timeouts earlier. All kinds of wild stuff has happened this evening for you, so I'm glad that you're here and this is gonna be a treat for you. Yeah, watching Marvel in 2022, it was like picking up Animal Crossing after I just left it. I'm like, what is happening? Like, that's what it feels like with the meta right now. I'm like, what are y'all doing? They're all so cool.
Yeah, I've never is... seen this fruit before. What is going on? Like, dude, this is this is a battle of YouTube comments favorites. YouTube loves these guys. Both of them will hate to see either of them lose. We'll certainly love to see them fight. Thank you, disrespect, for parking your prime on the TNS channel. We appreciate your competition and we appreciate your support, brother. All right, Living Legend gonna lose that, Chris. That's a huge part of his team. Chris with Akuma as the uh, assist back there. That's so much zoning potential. That's so much damage with just any like straight magnums. But now he's gotta fight this out with Wesker. Wesker Akuma still pretty strong. Um, Zenpool's team, on the other hand, still very very honest. All right, he's able to confirm off that, off the low height for the back throw in the air. Uh, not going to be able to kill. Smart, just going to snap in Akuma. I respect it. And the double cross, dashing under, teleporting back. Zenful had no idea where he was going. And Living Legend, going to be sure he uh, doesn't spend two bars with the Team Super right there. Going to finish that off. And uh, he's in a great spot. Incredible mix coming into that, too. And that X Factor level two for Wesker is putting in a ton of work because he's still able to confirm off that Magnum. Zenpool, this is all slipping away from his hands. And that's just kind of how Marvel goes down, man. One Whoa, mistake. wait a minute. X Factor three, normal guy. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the, the, the Hadoka combo, that was pretty cute. Living Legend trying to get the counter active, but it was shut down. Thank you, Jazz Maddox. We appreciate the sub. Another 12-month subscriber. I swear, like, everybody who subscribes to the TNS channel, it's just double-digit after double-digit. We really, really appreciate that, guys. Thanks so much, everybody. Oh, he's dead. And one thing, I, I want to highlight this. So, Living Legend, he's like, okay, cool. It's X Factor Ryu. I don't have to be super scared of it. But the number one thing he did not do that entire time, he did not call that assist once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has great mix up potential, but he's like, I'm not taking the chance. I'm not letting you hy hyper beam Akuma because you know he's going to be super dead. He's super squishy, especially with X Factor. Really smart stuff. Really, really confident play right there. Living Legend going to yes. go in the first game. Um, especially after like losing the focus of his team like almost immediately. I got to be honest, um, with something you just brought up. Living Legend, Zimpool, um, I think a Weberman. Also, Weberman is a player who's not entered tonight, but uh, famously just got second at one of the recent TNSs. They play Iron Fist Point, okay? Okay. And they also play Akuma and Ryu. So, it's... what did they know? They got. I, I'm telling you. What did they know? It was, the, it was one of the most insane runs I've ever seen, and it's so impressive. But I'm telling you, these players who play these like really straight up kind of honest teams. They are so fundament fundamentally rounded and clutch also, so they can make these really, really, like, epic moments often. They just keep doing it over and over. That is like the hyperbolic time chamber of fun. Like, that is There's the weights are on. so much work. Oh, yeah. The weights are it's on. Heavy. Big weights, elbow weights. Look at this. Weight, Look at this. Yo, man. <laughs> his his, 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 like, his hands are up. up. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. He held him down so hard, bro. He really did. Incoming! He just dive kicks and combos off the dive kick! Living legend! Disrespect your surroundings. Disrespect your surroundings. Alright. Dead. Not gonna go for the extra fireball. I like it. It was kinda like an awkward time spot, so don't blame him. Not going not being greedy right there. Alright, Zenpool gotta make this comeback with the Kuma. Ooh! Disrespect oh, surroundings himself. Oh my god. And just <laughs> sandals versus sandals. I told you! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh Oh my god. Dude, demon flip is scary. On incoming, I swear, these guys get so crafty with the demon flip. Sometimes it's the meaty palm, sometimes it's some goofy whiff stuff. I'm telling you, when it comes to the incoming situations, they are so ready. Oh my god, that was incredible right there. Yo! Just, you know what, not gonna do with the Kuma. I like it. Trying to go for the multiple TACs. Of course, the assist can't fight back. He's not gonna find it. Is gonna get this confirm off Chris, which is really crucial because he spent that meter. And I like it, tagging Akuma in. He's not able to kill him, but he is able to at least take a lot of that red life away. So he doesn't have X Factor 1, but he definitely at least got something out of it. It wasn't necessarily a waste. Ooh, the Bolo? Yo! Confirming out of Wesker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Bolo is such an interesting move. It is so, like, unique in its design. It's, like, kind of the only thing that really does what it does. And it, yeah, it really does just shut, shut down so many things. He just tags in the Chris. He gets two for his trouble. But with the way the Deadpool rolls, he actually finds himself eating a bread and butter. Honestly, if Deadpool could do bowls in the ground, that would be so terrifying. I'm so happy that's not Oh, my God. Do you imagine? Oh, my God. That, that is an assist? Mm. 
No, that's gross. And there's all kinds of like really funky damage reset tech with with it, you know, that was explored for a while. West gonna be able to get the glasses off, so that's nice. A little bit of a speed bonus and no uh no punish, but Akuma's in trouble. Alright, yeah, definitely got that XP and the wall bounce too. Alright, gonna get him out of there. Weird mix up from the center screen. Let's see what happens here. Good patience, but the delay with that magnum and the assist is going to give Legend the confirm that he needed. Gonna take this Ryu out of here. Really, really smart stuff. And just enough X Factor right now for this to count. Oh! That's a hit. Did That's he get a behind? Hit. No, he got tagged. Can he confirm? Okay. Yo, yo! Well, maybe he can. Alright, he gets out of there. He gets out of there. He knows he needs to. Now it feels it feels kind of scary because your Wesker is so low. When you get close, you almost feel like you want to call your assist to make something happen because just doing a Wesker alone is gonna be really tough. If you just hit, you can get hit by one fireball, it's gonna be really bad. But also, of course, nice. nice. That was that was max max distance. Well done. He did not get tempted. He did not call that assist just like he did earlier. Yes. He closes it out. Two to one lead. I would love to have that much respect for my assist. I'm so I get so tempted. I'm like I want to do the thing. And he was he's just like I am not letting you get this come back. We were wearing uh, like out that it. Arthur and that Frank West, bro. Yeah, we really were. We're like, nah, we're not we're not doing it. Um, but I really like that um he got that optimized combo at the end too, cause like he didn't have X Factor. I know Akuma's squishy, but it still would have been kind of like a weird combo. Uh, but him being able to relaunch and get that extra damage with that air ass and the Tatsu was really clean. Now Zen pulls down a round, but he's looking pretty good on this one. Decent trades and a confirm here on Chris actually will be able to put him in kill territory. So this is very, very close. Mm. And yep, that's going to do it for Living Legend. Once again, he really has not gotten to get that much mileage out of his Chris. He's still up in the set. Like he's he's working around it just fine, but it's kind of a shame. I kind of want to see him really pop off um, with some of that uh, Chris and Akuma pressure. Yeah. I think that's the nature of Chris, especially Chris without a projectile assist. Uh, it's really, he's a meat shield first, right? And you kind of, whatever you get out of him, sometimes it's just like a bonus, right? You're like, you got like, yeah. oh, great, yeah, I got my bread and butters in, I got some good zoning on the table. But this match has been all Zinful after we erased the Chris. Threat. I don't know about that, Heart. man. Oh, yep. no. Yeah, that was a really, really, I think he was trying to get the mix, like maybe he was trying to like get cross up S, which like I, I get it, but he ended up having to not only lose that character, but he also popped X Factor 1. Meanwhile, Living Legend, of course, level 3 Akuma, gonna eat this beam to the face, but he's got enough X to get a lot of that red light back. I don't think it's really gonna matter too much. Shades of DBZ, honestly, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No sandals versus sandals. This is, this is it. The sandals are skins right now. Ryu trying to make something happen, but he's an incredibly stiff character, and Akuma pretty much outpaces him in every way except for HP. So able to be much more dynamic in their movement, finding the punish on Ryu, and that double super will put this pretty close. Thank you, Muang Chicken, for the sub. Simply just yes. says, fight. Extra fireball. Beam. Just enough? Yes. Just enough to kill. So once again, Sandals on Sandals. No X Factor. Oh, he just raw launch him. I respect it. Okay. Nice. Living Legend is hunting, actually finds the hit, but not able to convert. Trading fireballs back and forth. This actually, with the supers, this could do so much. What? The hop kick? Actually, oh my god. Dude, these guys are swinging, man. This is so many buttons coming out that you actually rarely see. Ooh, oh, he's in a bad spot. Gotta get beamed. Take the lead back. Man, that's a big hit. He wants to do the beam. Wait, he's Beauty. above him. Oh, he's got it. Oh, my right in the face. Ties it up. Two to two. Oh. You cannot, I actually. You cannot have told me that Akuma versus Akuma was what I was going to be seeing in the top 24 losers. I'm telling you. You cannot have told me that. You. And this is a regular at the Tampa Never Sleeps. I mean, seriously, we, we get these guys in top 24 action super regularly. It's often that we can even see these two in top eight. So I'm fortunate that one of them has to go out this early, but that's just the nature of the business. Wait, a drop combo. He brings in the meat shield. Okay, and a super on Chris. Yeah, I can't confirm it anything crazy. Uh, this is a little risky for uh, Living Legend, dude, because he finally got a Chris confirmed, and I like that he popped X Factor. He's like, I'm going to kill a character, Chris. But he dropped the combo, oh, and now goodness. he's lost his point once again. 
and Zenpool has himself a kind of a small lead here. Great defense from Living Legend, though. That was a really weird mix up he went for. And he's going to be able to finally confirm. He can. Oh, he could have. Whoa! Oh, this is getting wild. Ooh, that is a All right, Polo Loops coming in. Ground bounce. Yep. Pretty good damage here. Probably going to tag into Ryu. Yep. Makes sense here. Akuma's going to go down again. Not a lot of health. So we have ourselves another really honest West match with no X Factor. Three characters to one. All right. This is an opportunity. I would probably level three. Yeah. 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 I agree. Get started. That Absolutely. makes a lot of sense. Glasses are still on. So we're not even at maximum Wesker yet. No pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Yeah. Oh! oh. The jump is? Just hit behind him? No way. You don't have a level three, but it's still probably going to be enough. Because the Akuma Super does so much damage. Mashing like crazy. That That's does it. it. Oh my goodness. Zimple advancing just barely over Living Legend. Shucks. I miss I'm Viper having... so much. I, yeah. What Street Fighter done to Viper is yeah. a crime. Like, why did you throw yeah. away a character? I know. They weren't in five. It doesn't look like they'll be in six unless maybe like DLC down the line. I don't know why they chose Jerry over Viper, but justice for Viper. That character is sick in every game that she's in. We deserve more Viper. I would love to get a Viper from there. Some of this bracket, actually. She's so perfect for this game, too. Literally, it just it just made so much sense. All right, so now NPH, once again, Chris versus the Magneto. This is going to be a difficult matchup for them. They're, they're used to this at this point. I mean, Chris doesn't really have a ton of super bad matchups, but there's a lot that I think he gets edged out in, and definitely the more mobile characters like Magneto being one of them. I think he can do pretty well against Iron Man if he gets something started, but Joker able to get on the other side and find a bread and butter going to go coast to coast with it. Yeah, that was a brutal looking cross up too. He's just shooting at shoes that weren't there. Magneto has flown all around him, <laughs> literally just dashed around him in circles. He's like, bro, where are you aiming? Like, it was very, it was very uh, bronze Overwatch right there. But uh, was able to confirm. Bad players are out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, That's that gonna hurt Sentinel. Cool. He's dead. Oh, he's super yeah. dead. Oh, oh both, both of dead. them! Uh, this is awesome, actually, because now it's just Iron Man Anchor, who we know sucks. Wait a minute! Oh, wow. He Zeta. said, shut up! No, even Dante's gonna live. That is a sign of suck right there if Dante lives right there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, you rarely see, like, a happy birthday come from just, like, a team super just in neutral. Straight up, but he got it. three-bar team super. Right. Ooh, Chris with Bosch, that actually does sound pretty tough. Like, Magnum's able to get him a lot of confirms. And even if it doesn't, like, confirm into the combo, that's so much airspace taken away. And that's where Chris is, like, the weakest. He gets Correct. super fight. Absolutely. So that's a really a smart team composition. Yeah, and then, of course, the jam session, right? It's another vertical assist that helps Chris out. And I agree that is probably his most weak area. So having those, you know, two vertical options really makes Chris a more dynamic here. Right, Sentinel not gonna attack this time, but he's gotta be really careful about Plastic Bot because, man, he got demolished that last yeah, game. Yeah. He never got to play. He literally never got to hit the field. No That's a classic weakness of Sentinel teams, right? He's so large as an assist, he's very uh, often targeted. I mean, that's something that you wanna do against any assist character like a Dr. Doom or an Iron Man even, but Sentinel is just so easy to hit. And just like that, Strider caught out and cooked. The character is Dunzo. All right, Chris getting... I was wondering how much damage he could really get from this punish, but I like that pop in the X-Factor. He knows he lost Strider. He doesn't really have to worry about trying to save him for an anchor. I cannot believe from full screen he was really able to punish that from Iron Man because most characters would have just had to hold it. All right, speaking of where he's weak in the screen, now he doesn't have that Vajra, so Magneto is able to, like, literally fly for free. Another Team Super? Yes! Wow. This is so much damage! Oh, my God. I never kind know of a, damage Yeah, this is kind of something that we see Dante players going to more because whenever you have the, uh, what's that move called? Million dollars, right? The super. It goes for so long. It's, it's literally like they took it from MVCI and they've been starting to use it more here in Marvel 3. Oh, yeah. And obviously, as a Frank Dante player, I sure, exclusive, you know. I exclusively oh, yeah. abuse that super. Exclusively. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sentinel is in down bad shape. What? What? That was the tip of the tip of the boot. He had faith. He believed in the plastic. That's, that's what he had to do. All right. And so Dante did, uh, coming in he did with the optimal. Cool help. Nice. 
Cold Charm on his way down. I respect it. Trying to just uh, Invincible Dash all the way over there with the Psycho Crusher. Uh, Sentinel playing really patient, but he is going to get chipped up from these beams. Mm. Oh, and just the light. Mm. If he had a smidge more health and he went for like Crouch M, I think he actually could have like taken that back. But either way, NP going to go up 2 0 oh, against Joker, um, who's, you know, a very talented player, but his Magneto has not really got anything going this game. At first, I, I was blaming Vajra because, you know, you know, that stopped him from flying. But even when Vajra wasn't a factor, uh, NP was still able to figure something out. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna credit MPH a little bit here. Unfortunately, now eating a happy birthday, so that's gonna give Joker a huge fighting chance to get back into this. But I think MPH has been playing very well and making things difficult for Joker. So that's been a huge credit to them up to this point. Now this is oh Joker's God. chance to put away a relatively weak anchor. Yes, let's yeah. keep this simple. Dante came in with, ooh, <laughs> I like that. All right. I like that, I like that. That was, that Again, was nice. yeah, get the confidence going. Teleporting around, hitting you on both sides. But yeah, that was a really good happy birthday from Joker, of course. And then Dante came in. He was already so weak from getting clips and assists. So it was pretty much all, you know, it was all pretty much all signed, sealed, and delivered for him. And we're back to neutral with the Magneto versus Chris. It's working so well for NPH before. Right now, Dante's struggling. Yo. That was so smart. Oh my God! The Ray Ray Classic. <laughs> That is a Ray Ray Classic. We've seen Ray do that before, and we've actually seen Joker do that before uh, here on the TNS broadcast. So well done. Looking for that opportunity, and that is exactly what you need to do to punish problematic, problematic assists like Shrey. Yeah, and he knew too. You even saw him like, he popped extra the extra damage. He field? jumped up there. Right, like the calling that out field, was so bro. smart. And then being able to jump up there with a disruptor beam on top of it just to make sure he did exactly enough damage, that was clean. But speaking of assist getting tagged, Jokers is not looking too much healthier. And if he loses his Magneto, he's actually going to be on the losing end of this battle. He's got a lot of red light here back too. This is still looking really good for NPH. Oh, oh no. That's it. Not Iron Man. Ah, it looks so good for Joker. And now, all of a sudden, NPH is in total control of the momentum of this match with the Dante on deck. There's so much... Look at these angles. I mean, Joker's doing a pretty great job getting these goofy smart bombs in at angles that are actually <laughs> causing problems. But look, bro, I mean, like, if that was Nova, Chris would have been hit. Yo, this, Iron Man, this is going to be rough. He's ahead. He's throwing, those, he's throwing those, like, Alexa smart home things down. Just like... It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it's like, I, when I envision Iron Man, or, you know, like, you see the movie or whatever, it's like, it's just a flawlessly moving, like, suit and then... The, the variation that we get in this game just being like this like mark point five i don't know what to call it <laughs> get one of the ones he right built now. he had to build one out of what was in the fridge it's like, the oh, cave man. suit the fridge yeah. suit <laughs> it's the cave suit oh my god that is so that much this cool. is such a cool. good uh team hyper combo because like not only does it do a ton of damage but apparently if you're up close like that you still get to confirm for even more to another super like that's really good Honestly, if you have four meters, you could probably tag back into Dante afterwards, too. So. You're doing a great job. Chats loved you. Uh, YouTube's going to love you, you. Trust me, they always love us. But, uh, you know, it's been great. I'm glad that the, the tournament holds up because it always does. It's the Friday night, baby. Actually, Easy Boy back on deck against Artistic. So we saw, I think Art played St. Valentine, right, for our very first match of the night. Yep. Yeah, and, and he, had, are. he has literal infinite pressure. There is always yes, a button from Artistic. I do yes. remember that. The office way. This is the way that they play. And they also love the hard tag. Oh, yeah. Big time. I truly didn't even see Burger's block animation that entire first time. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even true. know what it looks like, dog. Nice. I love that. But the Shinko assist going to save PZ Foy. I can't. Man, I want to. Shinko has done something well compilation just from this tournament. I'm just. I'm so pleased right now to see this. Nice air to air confirm. Good stuff from doing of course gonna get a ton of damage out of this uh not gonna dhc of course he wants shinko to stay in the assist position uh but he doesn't actually need to spin any meter at all so uh artistic is coming in great defense right there oh. really wonky block uh i know i got clipped i don't know about y'all i got hit on that Arnie is fighting so hard without the, the Doom. I'm really impressed. Oh, is he going to have time? Not enough. Put the swords on. So we cut off the avenue. Get the corner back. But the assist too strong. You know what? Assist too strong. It's actually weirder. I've seen 
it interrupts a lot of stuff, but I haven't seen any like big confirmed one yet, which is a weird thing. You think it could at least lock you down after everything you gotta pay for to get it. But all that aside, um, now Artistic is on his Strider. He's got plenty of meter. Gonna be able to take Doom out meterless. Shinko's coming in half dead, and he has access to Ouroboros. Uh, as soon as that armor wears off, she's in danger. But I like this. She's kind of just waiting back. Uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna bring Virgil in. No, oh, that's oh, hail that Mary. Ain't it. Huge hail Mary from Artistic. I don't know if he missed turn on swords or uh, I don't know if he thought like a different super was coming out, but yeah, he just burned a lot of meter. And now about X Factor, this is gonna be a really hard game for Strider. And that's game. Oh, no, he missed it. Oh, no. That's the classic pop X Factor hit the level three and to get beat up combo. I've done that one before plenty of times. So, you know, shout out to Art. We all owed one of those. Maybe wanted to get the Ouroboros on, that would make a lot more sense. Uh, but it's okay, going into game two. And once again, the Senko is fighting. Whoa, opened up at the start. I can't believe this. <laughs> we gotta be a little bit of afraid of this character. I had to get a hit confirm on Shinko, that's crazy. But no, I'm just um, all right, there's the pressure from Artistic, of course, coming in here. Multiple cross-ups with Spiral Swords. Uh, you see PZ Boy actually push guarding out of a lot of it, which is really, really risky, because if you put a gap in there, he could have got himself clipped. Uh, tried the hard tag back into Shinko, which makes sense. He wants the assist to be active, but not going to find any confirms. Whoa! Tried to kill him with the snap for a weird mix there. Um, good idea. Didn't find it, but now Virgil has boots on the ground. And, uh, okay, he's just tagging Doom back in. Okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I mean, he has gold Shinko, but she has no health. So, like, the big bonus of that's kind of, like, taken away. I got a feeling, yeah, that it's, like, one assist call's worth of HP that PZ's going to be able to get out of that. So you better believe that they call it at exactly the right time. And it might be here on incoming. Okay, hey. No conversion, though. Still Did get the it? grab. Yo, PZ yes. is so good at those. And the thing, the thing is, not only is that like a hard confirm, it's an awkward confirm to even like laugh too. So good stuff to him having that in the tuck. Strider squishy, he's gonna go down. Gonna bring in Virgil. Oh, with the long super. He has always played Doom, so that's an interesting thing that sort of stay consistent across their teams. But uh, I would never, you know. That's so funny, <laughs> getting the dizzy on the item. Oh my goodness, someone was asking for it in the chat. Boy, I hope you're here, because we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. All right, man, full screen confirms. I'm a believer, Shinko for S tier. Uh, good attempt though, for sure. Uh, I think the TSC was like a smidge greedy, but like other than that, I, I totally get it. Ooh, big punish. I I cannot believe that. And the casual just walking across the screen into the combo. I, I don't know what to say. PZ in dominating control now. Closing out this Dr. Doom. He's gonna have to respect this Virgil. Please make it meaty. That was meaty. But Artie gets out. All right. Frame trap. You know, Artie is aggressive. Dash. This is the time to be aggressive. Yo. This is your moment. Oh my God, range. Stop actually doing the low sweep to get the bait on the push guard, but not enough. He ends it off, push guards himself, and finds the punch. What is the uh, change from artistic going to be? I think one thing here is that like he's very aggressive, which honestly it's it's good. It's a very aggressive game, but his risk reward seems to be very heavily skewed in like making sure that a button is active. And PZ Boys just got uh -huh. like punishes that he wouldn't normally have if artistic slowed the pace down a little bit. And Virgil's a good character to do that. Like you can do that pressure with round trip, and like you know if you start staggering it and messing up when they push block, you get so many more openings. But I think artistic is really committed to just smothering PZ Boy and not even going for the mix-up, just trying to get the, uh, the damage out right. I'm fine with it, Artie. I'm fine. Punch him in the head. If that's the way you want to approach this, if you, if you want to go full-blown club, yeah, club him. Absolutely. I think it's a great nice idea. Tag. Optimal. Yes, hard tag is good. That's going to finish this character off. But I would honestly be a down for a snap. Ooh. Instead, you're going to be greedy, Artie, and you're going to get stiffed in his neck. Green. Now, you did. See, listen, if you watch Squid Game and you learn that lesson, maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe you won't be so greedy. That's so unfortunate. Artie was doing so good. I mean, he's still in a good spot. Artie, no, he's, he's still fine. got Virgil Strider. Oh, no, Artie, please. Gross mixed up. I believe. I believe. 
No way. No way Peasy Boy the slowly Cinco player is going to eliminate our hero already. I refuse to believe it. Especially, look, he's just going to burn three. Okay. All right. We get, we get a chance here. Strider can get out in so many different ways. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, man. Hate to see it. That was a grease ball mix up. No. no. I love that Doom was sitting in the corner no. being like, I bet you don't know where I'm at right now. He literally, Doom like looked in the camera like, watch this, y'all. <laughs>